What up, guys? Today we are going to talk about jealousy. How girls are like a ticking time bomb. It's just about to explode. Once I see Mr. Fine talking to who the hell are you, girl? We're thinking in our head, who is that slut? Who is that bitch? Who is that whore? Who is that nun? Go to the candle. We're going to think in our head. What in the world is he talking to her about? Why is she so special? Why? Da, 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 da. And we're just gonna go around and around and around and around. And then the guy's gonna look at us. We're having our hair burning in our head. We're just like. We can't handle it. In our head. It's like explosion. It's, it's exploding. It's like Mount Vesuvius erupting in our head. Like freaking God. Our head. It's on fire. Basically, the guy can see it, and then this thing, he's gonna look at you and say, Whoa, what the fuck is wrong with her? He's gonna just run, 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 run away from you. If you're gonna go crazy like that, mm -mm, you are, you are out of his life. You're dead, you're a, you're a snoosh. Basically, you're thinking about this. In your head, you're gonna get Mr. Fan to ask you to prom or who could be. Or to go see that new movie, Elm Street or whatever, or the Alex Cross movie. Basically, you're going to think, Ooh, why well, have to talk to her? Does he not like me anymore? And your head just goes to like 50 million possibilities. And you're thinking straight in your head, this is stupid. Why is he talking to her? I want him. And if you get to the point where you actually go over to him and actually yell at her, you are damn stupid, girl. You were thinking in your head, why am I doing this? I just want to do this because I want to win my man. You're going to lose that man if you're actually sitting there. So, to the thank you of my friend, Manita. She taught me how not to be jealous. How to hold it in. And then later on, you say, okay, you know what, blah, 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 blah. I don't say this in front of my man. Basically, I was just a messenger because she got all of the Mr. Fizans in high school. And by the time the end of your high school, and when I went into college and everything, you know, it's funny, I stopped caring what guys thought about me, and then I found my Mr. Fan! And you know, we've been dating for two years, and we're almost on three. So basically, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty damn fan! So, anyway, basically, we all be jealous. We're always gonna be like that. We're always gonna be screaming in our heads, Why the fuck is he talking to her? Basically, we're thinking, <laughs> we're thinking like, ah, I want to get yeah, no, you. I want to get you. Basically, girls, ladies, we're always gonna get jealous. We're always gonna be like that. We're all just gonna be going shit, fuck, crazy. We're all gonna be always like that. It's just always gonna happen. Even though, like, I hold it in, you know, just don't talk about it. I'm thinking in my head, why on the earth is he talking to her? Then I have to go and ask, <sighs> 20 some questions? No, wait a minute. 100? Yeah. It's just natural. Like, you know, my be one of my girlfriends in Texas, I'm not naming her, but I think I... My friend Manisa knows who it is. Basically, she was shit crazy. Basically, she would go off on her boyfriend for talking to a girlfriend. A gal friend. One of his friends that would happen to be a female species. So basically, he would sit and freak out, basically calling her on the phone. It's like, why aren't you talking to me? And she would yell at him. She would scream at him. And then she would call me up in the middle of the night saying, Hey, can you talk? Can you talk? I'd be up at Buku 3 o'clock in the morning talking to her like a crazy mofo. It was just always there. I realized, and I, as I was talking to this crazy chick, I was thinking in my head, you know, never, never, never in my life am I going to treat my man like this. Never. Ever. You know what's funny? I am a hypocrite. I am a hypocrite. Sometimes I have a huge hypocrite because I love my man so much and I don't know what to do. Because frankly, it's just built into me. So basically, once he gets home, I ask him, who is she? Na na na. And if he says a friend, I'm cool with it. But if he says, oh, I thought she was cute. Ticking time off is going to go off. Basically, you know, I love my man with a passion. I, he knows I love my man with a passion. He knows I love my man with the passion. <laughs> he knows I love him with the passion. Sorry. But basically, 
He has been worse than me. I have tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of guy friends in Texas. You know what? The minute he looks onto my Facebook page, he looks at me and is like, Girl! Who are you talking to? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Tell me about him. Where'd you meet him? Where'd you meet him? So we're just both hypocrites to each other. We're both promising each other. Oh, no, no, no. We're not going to be jealous of each other. <laughs> Big hypocrite moment. Anyway, my friend Manisa, I thank her so much because after all that, and then I met my friend Manisa, she taught me how not to be jealous. I was like, okay, hey, who are you talking to? What's her name so I can hang her, blow her up and actually talk to her. So say hello. So basically, you know, we're all going to be jealous. Either it's built in. Oh, actually, it's always built in. It's going to be built into us all the time. So basically, we're just going to deal with it. Either or not, we are built in to understand why we're jealous. It's because we love Mr. Fizan. So basically, if you want the next, um, video on how you see guys and their jealousy, leave it in the comments below. Hit me up with an idea. Comment or subscribe. I love you. You get the gist. See y'all next time. Uh, bye bye.